In this video, we're going to have a look at another plugin called Perfect Placement. When you install it, you'll get uh, entry into the extensions here called Perfect Placement. Very easy to use. What you do is you select your object, go to extensions, click on Perfect Placement, and then it's on the end of your cursor. Now it picks it up from wherever the axis is on the model that you select. So let me just escape that and go in here. If I double click on this, you'll see that the axis point on that object or component is there. Um, even if the object that you select is not a component, it will make it a component automatically. Um, and I think you can work on flat objects like this as well so let's make let's do two tests and make it a group okay and actually we'll make this a component and we'll set the axis in the center how about that so what we'll do is we'll set the axis hold on i have to go inside to do that make that a component set the axis when i'm doing it so let's go here okay there's the axis created and I'll just explode that outer group. Okay, so we've got this component, and we've got this component. Right, so we select the object, we go to perfect placement, click on here, and now we go and we can place this anywhere. Now, as you see here, as I uh, hover over it, the point, if you look at where the point is, that's where the axis of the component is, that little point there on that side. Now if I come down here you see it dances about. That's because the component itself is getting away getting in the way of the mouse cursor. So if I come to this side you'll see it doesn't flip around. Okay. But we've got a solution for that anyway. Even if it's in the way, we just hold down the shift key, it hides the component and then you can just click and place anywhere you like, like that. I was clicking on top of those ones. So, I'm just doing undo, and it's a one step undo for each time you run the plugin. Okay, so that's it. Now, there's another option. Sometimes when you've made up your geometry, you've got the axis positioned the wrong way around, and you end up getting this issue. So let me delete a few of these, I can explain. So select that, run the tool, extension, perfect placement. So it works perfect on the top. I'll hold down the shift key here to hide the model and it works perfect there. Um, but it doesn't work perfect here. It's putting it on the inside and that's because the geometry axis is wrong inside. So how do you overcome that? Well, all you have to do is tap the Alt key and it'll reverse the position. Uh, and then once you've tapped it then to move you press alt again so you can move it and now it's dancing around because it's it's the uh, cursor is picking up the object rather than the surface so if I hold down the shift key I can just overcome that by doing that or you can come around to this side where the axis is not in the way of the model and you can click away like that Now, I didn't think to do this, but can I actually use, uh, yeah, so you can use X-ray mode. You can use, now there's no, there's no surfaces. It works on placing on a surface. So there's no surfaces on uh, wireframe mode. So we'll go back into just normal mode. So there you go. Um, so let's have a look at this one here. So we'll select this and go perfect placement. Now it's on the end. I haven't tried this before, so I can click on here and just do my circles. And you'll notice that the axis for this is on the outside. Now I'm sure we set that up different. So what I think is going on here is yes. I had it in two groups, so let's explode. So that's correct now. So we'll run it again. Extension. 
perfect placement and this time now you see the uh, cursor is on the center of the object so you can place uh, anywhere you want on now it'd be a good idea if we added a feature let's see oh yeah so if i hold the shift key it will hide the object so it doesn't rotate because of uh, the uh, the object being in the way of the mouse cursor which is trying to pick up the surface so i can if i come to say here and then i hide it i can place it anywhere then on the object like this i'm holding down the shift key by the way so i can go to the center it picks up center points come to here hold down the shift key and i can plot away anywhere i want there actually picked up okay so that's that's perfect placement now i'd like to know if there any other uses for this plugin um what could you use it for and what could we add new feature to it now i was thinking about adding a feature where i can have a a dialog box and i can hold on if i can have let me do one more here i'll explain what i was thinking I can press the key here and it will automatically create random um, like this randomized it's like a paintbrush but it, it will actually scale every time I click it'll create a random scale and we can set the random scale up on a dialogue um, between a certain size uh, minimum and maximum randomization and random heights maybe just random uh, scale on the height only or the height and the width or the height and width and depth so you can just paint on a say grass or something like that so all you need is one little bit of grass model and then you can uh, work from that so let me see if I select this here and I go perfect placement. Okay, so I can actually copy copy the object itself, but the axis for this is down on the ground. I can see here if I click here, it puts it in the exact place. So this object is dictated upon where your axis is. I know the axis is down there, you see, so on that object. So it creates a duplicate or creates a component and you can place it anywhere you want. So in situations, uh, where could you use this in? I'd like to know your comments where we could take this comp uh, this plugin and what other uses it might have. Um, I haven't experimented with it all, but I'd like some feedback if you can, please. Thanks for watching the video.